America East Hoops fans, I'm Danny Kleppinger here with our AE Hoops chat for the week with you, Albany head coach Colleen Mullen. Coach Mullen, thanks so much for joining me. And I'm excited to talk to you because my goodness, your team is on a roll. You won your conference opener. You've won five straight, seven of your last eight. What is it about this group that you have? I think, I mean, well, thanks, Danny. Number one, thanks for having me on. But, you know, I think this group is just a really special group because they're so unselfish. Um, we just have a really nice balanced team with a lot of depth and everybody just buys into their role. Um, we have really competitive practices and they really play for each other. They share the ball, they celebrate each other. Um, and it's just been a lot of fun to coach. You're not just beating teams, you're blowing them out of the water, winning by 22 points or more on this five game win streak, which is extremely impressive. So I know you, you're talking about how well they all cheer each other on and things like that. But if you had to dial it down to specific keys to what is bringing you such results, what would that be? I think they're just able to handle adversity. I think in, in every game that we've had, um, we've played really tough opponents and they've, you know, even when we've had a lead, um, you know, they've, they've come back and, you know, in years past, maybe we would have played more afraid to, to lose and, and maybe given up that lead, but, but now they're just so confident in each other and, and they really are able to handle, you know, those runs that maybe we weren't able to in the past and respond um, and extend the lead. And I think that, you know, when you have a team that plays so well together in terms of their culture, the types of teammates they are to each other, um, and how they are so bought into what we're doing, um, they're able to, even when we do, you know, turn the ball over or we, we, we're not executing the way we need to, when, when the game's on the line and we need to, we can count on our defense um, to really kind of propel our offense. Yeah, speaking of buying in, let's talk about that defense. Top five in the country. How has that been a focal point for you? And then is this something that you've always stressed as one of the most important aspects of the game? Yeah, I mean, I think that's, you know, defense does win championships. And, and you know, regardless of what you're doing on the offensive end, you know, your shot's not always going to, it's not always going to be your day. Your shots are not always going to go down, but you can always count on your defense. And if you have a great, you know, defensive philosophy and you have players that buy into, you know, getting stops and, and finishing it with a box out and a rebound, you know, you can stay in games. And I think for us where we mix up our pressures and, um, you know, our players just know that they have to dig in on the, on the defensive end. And we practice defense a lot. Um, we focus on defense and I think it, it certainly, um, it shows in, in those numbers, but really just, I can't say enough about their effort and, and how they're bought into what we're asking them to do. When you're talking about mixing it up on defense, I'm just thinking about all the mix up of different contributors you seem to have on your team. What can you say just about all the different help you've gotten from different ladies on different nights? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's interesting. I, this is kind of, I think, you know, one of the first times I've coached on a team that doesn't have a star. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when you when the team is the star, when you really have so many different threats where on any given night, it could be a different player's turn to, to score a lot of points, or you just have a balanced attack across the board. Um, I think that's really hard to scout. And it's been really nice to see some of our freshmen, you know, step up and have big games and, and Hellion and, and Kayla Cooper. And, you know, it's just, it's nice to be able to have that, you know, uh, versatility. As I can tell, you're at your hotel because you have a big game tonight, but it is a bit of like a home game for you, you being from Shelmsburg, so or Shelmsburg, excuse <laughs> me. So do you like these games at UMass Lowell? Yeah, it's great to be able to play in front of my family. You know, I played, we played UNH um, yesterday, last game, and that's my alma mater. So it's really fun to be able to still be able to coach in this area, play in front of my home fans, like my, my family, my friends. I, unfortunately, I've lived outside of Massachusetts longer than I actually lived in Massachusetts okay. at this point now. But um you know, growing up, I, I, I practiced in Costello gym. I went to basketball camps there. So it's really fun to be here and, um, and you know, and, and to, you know, go back to the old stomping grounds and, and have those memories, um, you know, of just being a kid and, and, and loving basketball. Coach, go make some more memories. Get another win under your belt. Congratulations on the success so far. And I'm excited to continue to watch you guys roll. Thanks so much. Thanks for your time. so much, Danny. Thanks.